We have spent the last 12 months uh, researching, developing and filming footage uh, as part of an investigation into the illegal abalone trade. And more importantly, it's links to the Cape Town gangs, the notorious Chinese triads and organised crime. During that period, we worked very really closely with Sandparks, anti-poaching unit, South African Police Marine Unit, the Hawks, South African Revenue Service, and we interviewed poachers. We went on sorties with poachers, and we interviewed a 28's ex 28's gang boss, a character called Ernie Lustig Solomons, who in the 90s was responsible and very involved in the Abalone Wars, and was controlling most of the poaching around the Hermanus Horsen area. What we came across last year, towards the end of our production, was um, a Chinese national was appearing in the Belleville court on a charge of abalone smuggling. He was caught at the Cape Town International Airport. But more interestingly, he also had a rhino horn, which was mixed in amongst the abalone which was going out. And so we will be spending the next three or four months investigating the nexus, the, the link between Rhino Horn and Poached Abalone, the gangs, the triads, and is it on the increase? Is, are they using this as a, a new form of getting the horn out of the country because of the mass of the abalone and the distribution systems which they've almost perfected in terms of shipping containers and, um, and other means? What we will be doing is going into post-production once the production is finished, which is planned to be completed by the end of around about February, March, and the 56-minute program will be sold and distributed both locally, uh, internationally, and used as uh, educational material for um, social media and hope to get it into the schooling system as well. What I suggest you do is after this interview, spend four or five minutes, that's the length of the next clip, and we've taken some highlights from the production, from the film, film which we, we've produced, and it'll give you an idea of the, um, the end result of the, of the program. Everlane poaching is definitely linked to Chinese triads. They've got money, they've got the boats, they've got the people. From the little experience I've had with them, they've, they've been brilliant businessmen. They're well organized very well sophisticated, and they run the show. I went to a warehouse, told the gentleman there's 120 kilos. He took out 36,000 rand. Junky, funky kids, or, or all these other named gangs throughout the Western Cape, um, the street gangs. When when they go to Polesmore Prison, for instance, those street gangs kind of fall away and they become part of number gangs. It's big stuff, you know. In most um, arrests, you know, when it comes to us, when we arrested the guys on the ground, invariably there will always be a link to some kind of Chinese person involved in the chain, somehow or another. They set up the market, they create the market, and they run it. They're well organized, very well sophisticated, and they run the show.